Well, my dancing is more stylized just because you have to be a bird. And it's kind of a special kind of bird, too. It's not the usual swan lake, large flaps. The firebird gets to flutter a lot more. They kept saying I needed to shimmer more when I was rehearsing it, uh, move my hands really quickly. And also, she doesn't necessarily fall in love with the prince. I think she just, they're just friends. She trusts him. Uh, there's no loving feelings there. One of the most difficult parts to make look right is trying to escape the prince while he's trying to partner you and assist you in your dancing. You're trying to accomplish all of the dancing feats while making it look like you're trying to escape him when you really have to use him. It was nice because I got to uh, learn the ballet with a, a new partner, so we got to really dissect everything, go through all the intentions, and really perfect the, the movements and the partnering and uh, the characterization. Well, this role was different for me because a lot of times I do leotard ballets or I do very stark ballets with no stories. Um, I had to act a lot in this one, which was different for me, and it was a good learning experience. You kind of just have to surrender yourself to the role and the music and the ballet. And it's actually, once you get out there with all the sets and costumes and lights, it's rather easy to lose yourself. The Chagall sets are amazing to dance with, and all of the costumes too. It's just so fantastical and magical and fairy tale. Um, I actually saw, I went to Nice and I went to the Chagall Museum and I saw the original sketches for all the costumes for Firebird. Um, that was pretty cool, actually. The magic feather that the Firebird is uh, supposed to give to the prince at the end of the pas de deux, it's, uh, it tends to fall out all over the stage. <laughs> it's funny, it's very easy to lose the little feather amid all the big costumes and movement. Uh, the prince sometimes loses it during the monster scene and princesses have to go uh, find it for him and get it to him. Near the end of the monster dance after the prince uh, remembers that he has the feather and pulls it out of his jacket. One of the monsters sneaks to the back wing and the firebird has to just hide behind him and run into the center of the circle and they all lift her up and you kind of have to sneak in. But I would, I've would, i watched it a few times and I've never even noticed even though I know it's coming. There's just so much crazy action going on on stage. Everyone's spinning around and it's just a whirlwind. There is one fun step at the very end of the pas de deux when you're falling asleep in the prince's arms. And you do a big side bend, and then you come back to the center and you get to wiggle. We call them the wiggles. You just get to, it's like you're nuzzling up with the prince. You know the end is near and you, you're kind of, uh, you're exhausted at that point. And you just kind of get to relax and let the prince lift you up and you get to just let, let go and kind of, I don't know, it's a fun step to, just wiggle. <laughs> you don't get to wiggle much on stage. I like the music. It's uh, mysterious at times. The whole beginning is very creepy. Uh, you really get a sense of being in the middle of a forest. The first solo is very, you can almost hear a bird singing in the music. One of my favorite moments is near the end of the Bursus when the firebird is calming the forest and she brushes the monsters off stage and turns around and she goes down her body with her hands and calms all of her feathers. And it's just, you've got a golden spotlight on you and it's quiet and you have the whole stage to yourself. And it's just very uh, surreal and magical.